Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Blank chair? Term of address at a meeting? Well, I mean, you can chair a meeting. What would you call that person? That would be the person heading up the meeting. I'm not really sure what that should be. Stately homes? Is that going to be manners? That would fit pretty nicely. Hmm. This is very strange to me. Rumor has it, singer, 2011. Is that Adele? And then it looks like this clue is going to be referencing Adele. Adele, voice-wise. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and guess that she's in alto. I think that's right. Let's just double check that. When Juliet drinks a sleeping potion that makes her seem dead. That happens at the very end of the play, so I'm gonna guess this is Act 4. Coffee in the Milky Way. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. With wordplay clues, we need to look for a punny answer. So this is not talking about coffee getting into a Milky Way candy bar or coffee getting into the Milky Way galaxy. I think this is going to be about a way to make coffee milky and that would be a latte. Yeah, that's a very milky type of coffee. That's pretty funny. Uno plus du. I think this is Italian. I have an issue with confusing Spanish and Italian, but I'm pretty sure about this one. In Italian, uno plus du is tre, that's three in Italian, atop poetically. Hmm, is this gonna be or over poetically? Close one, that could be a scare, yeah. 18 wheeler, that could be a semi, a semi truck. Ceiling, that should be a limit, okay. Dark European thrush. Okay, well, a thrush is a kind of bird, I think. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure what it's gonna be, though. Brew pub order, that's gotta be an ale. Take shape. Hmm, so this is like developing somehow? Let's take a look at this first long across answer. This has gotta be part of the theme. Upbeat response to, how are you? This has gotta be never better. That's very cheerful. Frequent flyer. Okay, we have another wordplay clue here. So this is not going to be about a person that is a frequent flyer on an airline. I think this is going to be about a bird. Those are very frequent flyers. I wonder what kind of bird we're dealing with here. Hmm. I guess this could be Madam Chair, right? If the chair was a woman. That makes a lot of sense. And this is a Merle? I don't know if I've ever heard of this kind of bird before. Sweet, sweetheart, in a barbershop quartet standard. Hmm, I wonder if this is a name that this song is singing about. I'm not sure if I've heard of this one. Take shape. Okay, this is going to be develop. Okay. Toledo cheer. Okay, Toledo, I think, is in Spain. So we're looking for a Spanish cheer here. That should be ole. Annoy is going to be Ryle and Slept Soundly. Ooh, we've got another wordplay clue. This is great. Okay, so this is not going to be about sleeping really deeply. Slept Soundly. Is this about making sound while you sleep? Yeah, it's going to be snored, right? That's sleeping soundly in a way. And then is this Adeline? I don't think I've ever heard of this. Is this an E? Grand, yeah, that could be epic. Do we have Eerie? Rocker Clapton, no, that's Eric Clapton. Big name in water purification. Ooh, um, I don't know if I know this one. I wonder if this next across is gonna be part of the theme. Yeah, it looks like it. It's pointing to the revealer down here. Musical group that doesn't play original songs. That's called a cover band. Okay, so we have Never Better Cover Band. Hmm. Well, they both have Vs in them. 
I'm not seeing too much else that they have in common. This has a V in it too. What is this? Central Brazil for the Amazon. Is that a river basin? I'm not sure about basin. Let's see if we can double check that. Turn pale with shock. That should be Blanche. That's a great word there. Big as a bonus. Uh, is it fat? I got a big fat bonus for the holidays. Big celebration could be a fate or it could be a fest. I'm gonna guess that it's a fate just based on these letters here. Accepts reality. Ooh, it feels like this is going after a very specific turn of phrase. Let's get a little bit more help here. Nissan sedan. I've heard of an Ultima. Okay. Sitar selection. Oh, this is gonna be Raga, I think. This is a term I've learned on crosswords. This is like a set of notes that you can use to improvise with in Indian music. Yeah, this is kind of an arcane word, but it's a good one to remember. It shows up on crosswords every now and again. Let's see if this G is right. I'm pretty sure about this, but let's just double check. Russian waterway famed for its sturgeon fishery. Uh, I have no idea, but I know there's a river called the Volga in Russia. Did we get enough help here? Accepts reality. Hmm. I want it to end in it. Blank Aviv. Yeah, that's Tel Aviv in Israel. Was in the slammer. You did time if you were in the slammer. Arms Depot. That should be an arsenal, right? Vaccine Watchdog Org should be the FDA, I think. Make Public could be Air. And some 401k investments in brief. Those could be certificates of deposit. So this will be faces it. Okay, that finally makes sense. On demand digital video brand. Oh man, this is like a streaming service. Yeah. What is it called? It's not Verbo, right? That's a competitor to Airbnb, I think. Dog shelter employee should be a vet. Metal source is going to be or, and units of weight will be pounds, abbreviated. When you have an abbreviation in your clue, that's usually a hint that your answer needs to be abbreviated as well. Cousins of mandolins. Okay, well, mandolins are stringed instruments, so maybe these are lutes. Yeah. What is this? Water purification. Hmm. I have no idea. Uh, man. Isn't this like voodoo? Is that right? Is this a D? Place for a dish that's come from the oven. Okay, maybe this is a hot pad? Yeah, maybe. Is this Eco Lab? Is that a brand name? I don't know. Lead into position or occupation? I have no idea what this should be. Wishful words. Shouldn't this be, I hope so? Those are wishful. Trailer in a theater. Hmm. Is this an actual movie trailer or is this being kind of tricky? Trailer. Hmm. Some Facebook exchanges in brief. That could be IMs. Instant messages. Movie ad? <laughs> I guess so. That's technically what a trailer is. Let's double check just in case. Fair hiring initials. Yeah, this should be EEO, I think. Equal employment opportunity? I think it's something like that. Blank Jose should be San Jose. Blank to a superhero, Weird Al Yankovic parody of Piano Man. I don't know if I've ever heard of this one. It looks like it has to be owed to a superhero. It's a start. That could be step one. Hmm, yeah, we didn't get any extra help here. Water conduit is a pipe. Preposition, oh, it's preposition or preoccupation. That's very tricky. Okay, what do we have here? Costlier than projected. And this is another theme answer. I think it's our last one. Um, hmm. It's not over expensive. What is this? 
We think this is a B. Oh, it's over budget. There we go. And it was voodoo. Casual fabric. It seems like this should be denim. That's a pretty casual fabric. Wall Street character Gordon. That's Gordon Gecko. Um, do you spell it like this? I'm not sure. It might be two Ks. The E in Holmes. Holmes is a mnemonic device to remember the Great Lakes in the United States. It's Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. So this is gonna be Erie. Okay. Three-wheeler, that could be a trike. Trial version, that's a demo of a computer program. Relative of ink, that could be limited. I think that's the British version of ink. High dudgeon. <laughs> if you're in high dudgeon, that means you're very angry. So this could be ire. I love this phrase, this is so funny. Okay, well, before we take a look at the revealer, I wanna take one last look at all of our theme answers and see if we can get an inkling of what is going on with this theme. We did notice that there's a V in all of these theme answers, but I don't know if there's anything else beyond that that I notice. Never better, river basin, cover band, over budget, never river cover over, man. Um, hmm. Well, I guess they all have V-E-R, V-E-R-B, wait a minute. Verb, 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 and verb. Okay, it looks like we're dealing with a hidden verb somehow. Um, well, we've got part of the theme figured out at least. Let's take a look at this revealer and finally solve this mystery. Grammatical connector like is or seem, or a connector found literally in 16, 24, 35, and 49 across. Uh, okay. Well, it's gonna end in verb, I think it has to. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna start though. Oh, didn't we say that this could be a K in gecko? Yeah, so maybe it's called a linking verb? I don't think I've ever heard that term before, but that's exactly what we have here, linking verbs. They link two words together. That's really great. Excellent, okay, let's see if we can finish this corner here. Put blank. Writing, put it in writing. Do we have eerie crossing eerie? Ghostly, we do. This is a nice little hangover from our Halloween puzzle yesterday. Breakfast brand, is that ego? That's waffles. Some honkers, oh my God, this is gonna be geese. What a fantastic entry. That definitely earns this puzzle a bunch of bonus points in my book. Okay, be a couch potato, that's gonna be veg. Stared at rudely. I think that's gonna be ogled, and it has to be ogled in the past tense because the clue has stared in the past tense, and the tenses in your clues and answers always have to agree. Fizzled out could be died. Write a ticket for, and when there's a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So I think this could be Sight for, yeah, rumor has it. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think this should be, I heard. Yeah, that's a good equivalent. 1960s film villain with prosthetic metal hands. Ooh, um, I wonder if this is Dr. No from James Bond. We just saw him a couple of days ago. North Carolina athlete. That is a Tar Heel, yeah, I have heard of that. One doing life-saving work at a hospital. And we have an abbreviation in our clue. So again, that means we need to have an abbreviation in our answer. And I think we already have it right here. ER, this could be an ER nurse. There's our abbreviation. Creature comfort, and we get to end on a wordplay clue. This is great. Okay, so this is not about a creature comfort for a person, like really good food or warm clothing. I think this has to be something that would give comfort to a creature. That could be a dog bed, right? That's pretty funny. And this'll be a hug, warm greeting, yeah. All right, let's throw this G in there. 
and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 23 minutes. That's a little bit on the slow side, but we did take some time to try and figure out this theme here. Yeah, it took us a little while to finally catch on to this linking verb theme. But yeah, it ended up being pretty cool. There's a linking verb in each one of our theme answers. Never better, river basin, cover band, and over budget. I don't think I've ever heard of the term linking verb before, so this is a very good one to have learned today. I also was really happy with the amount of wordplay we got today. Look at this, slept soundly for snored, frequent flyer for bird, coffee in the Milky Way for latte, that's very funny. And this one was great too, creature comfort for dog bed. And of course the cherry on top of this puzzle was geese for some hunkers. Yeah, they're not talking about people's noses here. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed linking up with me to solve today's Tuesday puzzle. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday solve, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.